Welcome back. Our time now is 614. All year, we've heard from parents worried their kids aren't getting the education they need from virtual learning. That's true for the father you're about to meet, but what he wants from the school may surprise you. Sixth grade, we're learning data plots, box plots. Tommy just wrapped up sixth grade at Camden County Intermediate. Math used to be his favorite. I used to love it and I don't really like it that much anymore. He puts it pretty bluntly. Because it wasn't as boring. Math got a lot more boring for Tommy over the last year as he learned virtually from his dad's offices. So I'd sit there and I had to relearn algebra to teach him. <laughs> it was less than uh, successful. You can probably relate to Tommy's dad, Brad Dills. If I would get busy doing my work and look over, he'd be off task. If I stayed on him and kept him on task, I fall behind. Dill says Tommy's grades were just above failing, and now he wants him to repeat sixth grade. I'm not saying he was done wrong. I'm not saying he didn't have the opportunity. I'm saying he messed up. He deserves to repeat the sixth grade. Not necessarily as a punishment, but because he didn't learn what he needs to learn. But that decision isn't up to Dills or any parent. Ultimately, the authority is with the principal. That's Camden County Superintendent Dr. Joe Farrell, who told me recommendations to hold students back jumped astronomically this year. At our middle school, you know, we had uh, maybe two students recommended for retention last year. This year, we're looking at 27. Farrell didn't talk to me specifically about Tommy, but he did say that choosing to hold a student back is about much more than just their grades. We also look at social and emotional um, concerns. In layperson's terms, you might just be saying you factor in whether it would be really embarrassing for the child. Yes, that, that's correct. Farrell also says low grades aren't reason enough to hold a child back. End of year assessments give a better picture of their level. How much of it is a child's ability and how much of it is a child's willingness to say to turn in homework assignments or classwork assignments. Dill says for his son, they're one and the same. He's concerned Tommy's only being set up for failure next year. I mean, the reality is, is all of our children have lost something across this pandemic. Over the next three, four, five, six years even, what are we going to be doing to sort of always be catching these students up? Now, summer school is also available for students in Camden County. Farrell says that should help many of the students under consideration to be held back move forward instead.